Hello and welcome. In my last video I talked about that it's very important to find the truth what's going on here in this world but also in your personal life. So there was a real big teacher in history. His name was Jesus of Nazareth and he said once at least they, it's written in the Bible I'm the pathway, the truth, and the life. So he also focused upon the importance of truth. And we have to find the truth in the three parts of society which try to lead all people, which are politish politicians, scientists, and media, mass media. So what makes it difficult to find the truth? What makes it easy for them to tell us every kind of lie? So if I'm not talking about a small fear like, oh, I fear that he will not like me, but a panic which was generated through the largest and most successful marketing program I've ever seen in the first half year of 2020. Some call this the Corona crisis. We had a lot of panic. And in a panic mode, our conscious brain stops working nearly completely. And our whole function goes back to the very core of our brain, to the oldest parts. And then we have only three options. Fighting, fleeing and playing dead. So this is what happened in the first half of 2020. And this, this was part of the strategy. And the second part is something which most people have deeply rooted in their brain. And I think it's, it has also a positive aspect, but it has also a very negative aspect. It's the belief so, so bad they can't be so bad. And it's positive because you believe into the good in people. And for travelers like me, everywhere where I went, I met people, very frequently poor people, who are very helpful, very caring, very loving, and so I know the people on this planet are really good. But on the other hand, there is a small group of people. And I just want to remember you to happenings like the crucifixion. This was a method of the Romans for a long time. And it's a very, very cruel dead. I remind you of something which was called the Holy Inquisition in the Middle Ages. And if you are a really hard guy, you can do a quick research on YouTube to find the methods they used during this time to find the truth, uh, what people really did. Or just think about people like Hitler and Stalin. And then you might rethink this deep-rooted belief within yourself. They can't be that bad. So during the last month, we have seen a big, as I name it, uh, the largest marketing program ever. And maybe you know the movie Wag the Dog. If not, please watch it. It's very interesting and very eye-opening. So 
What else did we see? We saw a lot of linguistic manipulation. So you can speak about people ruling a country as a government. Or you can use another word like regime. Regime. I don't know how to pronounce it in English. And you use labels for people. This is conspiracy theory. This is radical left. This is radical right. This is a corona denier. So you can find a lot of labels for people. And it is interesting that a lot of these labels were given to medical doctors and professors, very high educated people who are not in alignment with the official statements which were published through the mass media. You also saw that this program, what happened, followed like a program. So there was a point in time in May people were no, not so much in fear than before. What happened? In the mass media, suddenly people had more masks in front of their mouth and face. Why? Because it looked like, oh, there is a real big danger. So they wanted to, to raise the level of fear and panic again. And we have seen something very interesting. We have seen censorship. And I always say, if you say the truth, you are happy about every question because you can answer it in the right way and it even stabilizes your statement. Only if you are not telling the truth, you need censorship because the wrong question could bring your whole mental construct to fall down and to disappear. So if we have seen all that, the main point in this whole program is the fear, the panic. And so how to get out of that fear? The first thing you can do is to ask yourself the following question. What is going on right now in my life and in my surroundings? So are you dead? Are you seeing a lot of dead people? Are you seeing a lot of severely sick people? Are you, you yourself severely sick? No? So why panic? And then talk with people, talk with medical doctors, go to hospitals and ask what's, what was really going on here? Have you been crowded with people dying from Corona or being severely sick from Corona? And you will maybe get surprising answers. It took me from the beginning of 2020 and I'm traveling a lot and I'm in contact with a lot of people till one or two weeks ago, end of May, to meet a medical doctor. And this was the first person I met in that first half year of 2020. And she said, I know somebody who was diagnosed with Corona. So it took half a year for me, or five months, five months, five full months, to find somebody who knows somebody that has corona. This medical doctor and a lot of her colleagues had not one single case. So, and this man said to this medical doctor, I was in the intensive care and three people in my room died while I was there. So this medical doctor thought, what's going on here? Why? Do I and do all my colleagues not know somebody? And this one man knows three of them. And she did a quick research and she found that right on top of that hospital there was a 5G antenna. And if you do a quick research, let's say on speedtest.net, at the bottom you find 
something which tells you here is a map of the 5G installations worldwide. And if you compare the map you see there, and you co can go into detail, you can zoom in and zoom out. If you compare that map to the map of so-called corona dead people, you will be very surprised. So that's the, the benefit of if you ask yourself what is going on right now in my life around me. You step back from that fear and you see I am a living being, I am in perfect health and I can work, I can think, I can behave like ever before. So the second thing I haven't seen in any of the mass media, they totally ignored the other side of the panic. The deadly danger on the one side and on the other side there is so much resources we have and it's not a coincidence that I'm here in the middle of that beautiful wood forest but it's if you go out in nature you will feel better. If you take the gifts of nature and li like this plant which many of us think it's, it's not a helpful plant, yes it is very helpful and there are very much helpful plants out there. We have a lot of healthy food, we have a lot of healthy plants, we have a lot of healthy herbs. Nobody mentioned that. Can you imagine why? So if you use all that what is given, all the tools, then you can go on to the next step. And this is the step which will reduce your fear at least by 90%. But you cannot take that step mentally. You will understand what I explained to you that it's possible to do that but you have to make your own very strong experience and from all my journeys on the planet after meeting my teachers I traveled four of the five continents and I tried to find other people who are so strong to give people that intense experience which will change their whole life. And there are very, very, very few of them. So what is it about? You say, this is my hand, this is my body. Who is the one who says, my hand, my body? It's what we call in all religions, in all spiritual traditions, the soul. So the soul is, it can be, regarding the quality, like the infinite, conscious, loving, wise, powerful being, which we call God. And if you really make that experience who you really are, not this body, but your soul, which cannot be destroyed. Only your conscious thinking can make decisions to reduce the light of the soul, to sell your soul for security, for money, for everything. But if you have a clear decision whom you serve, whom you want to get in contact with, and keep that clear decision all your life in every moment. You might be able to find a teacher to helps you, who helps you to make such a strong experience within a very, very short time. And that's possible. I made it several times. I am now able to produce that kind of experience with, without every help. I'm able to help others into, into that experience and some of our 
or a lot of our seminar participants don't need us anymore to make that deep life-changing kind of experience. So thank you for listening. If you have any question, feel free to send me a personal message or leave a comment. If you want to get more movies or want to keep informed when I make the next movie, please subscribe to our newsletter of the English website of Miracle of Life Force because this is mainly a German channel and so if you subscribe to this channel you might be overwhelmed by a lot of German uh, clips where you are not interested. So thanks for watching, all the best.